Hi everyone, and uh, Peter Zalem's Greeny Flix Adventure 8. Welcome to another street photography video. And we're continuing on. This is number two, and we're going to be using the Leica M240P with the Similux 35mm f1.4. Another outing onto the street. Um, already done one with the Nikon Z6 and the Voigtlander 35 uh, 1.4. Um, the link is there somewhere. Um, and this time we're going to do an outing with the Leica um, M240P with the Simulux 35mm f1.4. Um, the focus will be on using the the things that are peculiar to this and, and try and take photographs and maximize the advantage that the Similux 1.4 offers, which is one of the best 35mm lenses that you can actually buy. Uh, it offers outstanding contrast, magnificent detail, and needless to say, you want to be able to you want to be shooting at wide open f1.4 to maximize the quality of this lens. I mean one of the peculiar things about this lens that you notice straight away, unlike, unlike most lenses which have a convex shaped the outer element, the Leica Simulux has a concave element as the outer element. Not sure whether you can actually see that here, which is most unusual but it creates incredible photographs and we'll be trying to capture that in the photographs. So let's start off with a whole bunch of um, colour photographs uh, from the outing right now and then we'll go into the computer Lightroom and have a closer look. Right, let's jump into Lightroom and have a look at some of these photographs. Okay, so here we go. We, this is my wonderful wife Leah and uh, my model for the day as we ride around um, Sydney Harbour and um, Anzac Bridge and Jubilee Park and Centennial Park. Centennial, anyway, something like that. So we're shooting again wide open at um, f1.4. Now the Lightroom does interpret the metadata on Leica, but even though it does a light evaluation, so it takes ISO into consideration the, the focal length of the lens and the shutter speed and interprets what the f-stop should be. We are actually using f1.4 here, even though it says 1.7. And I'm shooting wide open wherever possible. So let's continue and look at some of these. So. Again, the, the Leica Sumalax lens, the 1.4, has incredible contrast and, and just about no flare whatsoever when shooting into bright light. And you can see this here with the sun right here in, in the photograph, the middle of the photograph, and you have this magnificent contrast everywhere where you look with incredible detail. And... Um, it's it's an amazing lens. Doesn't matter where you look. Is that a no? That's just some um, bokeh. 
in the background from the reflection. Yeah, it's just incredible. And again, here's uh, again the direct sunlight there. And then reflection in the water coming up through there. Magnificent detail, lots of contrast again. You can see in the fishing line here. Magnificent lens. With the light behind now and focusing pretty much on infinity, I think. Or no, I'd be focusing over here with the f1.4. Let me just check to see what aperture we... Ah, no, no, we actually have stopped it down to f4. So that gives that's the reason for the depth of field here. But in incredible detail. And now here I have done some correction within Lightroom. And you can see that I've straightened up all the lines here in the building to give a, a nice beautiful photograph of Sydney and the new Crown Casino that's been built there. Anyone planning to visit Sydney? It's a great place to visit, great place to live, especially if you live anywhere near the harbour. Here I haven't corrected for the parallax error. And uh, these apartments here at the top of Crown Casino are available for sale. I believe that some of these apartments up the top here sold or have pre-sold for around $40 million Australian. So if you've got a, a few spare bucks, maybe you've been saving some money during this um, shutdown around the world, uh, those apartments are available. This penthouse, I think multi-level penthouse, is available for sale. Don't ask me the price, I haven't inquired. Let's have a closer look there. Imagine the view from up there. Incredible. Yes, it's a magnificent time of day, shooting um, just as the sun is setting over the horizon behind me here. And um, yes, shooting somewhere around the f2.8, f4 for that shot. And then I think back at, oh no, still 2.8 here. And um, lots of detail in the photograph. You can actually see the rope. I don't think we're um, we're at uh, let's have a look, quick look here. How much we zoomed in? Yeah, three to one here. Heaps of detail, good contrast, wonderful colour. And um, further around to Darling Harbour here. What are we shooting here? We're shooting 2.8 again, 35. Incredible colour, incredible detail. Zooming right in again, 3 to 1 here. Looking at some of that detail. Outstanding. What do we got here? We got back to f1.4. And what else? And 300, 1 350th of a second. So shooting it at wide open, it means you can an ISO 200. So obviously with a wide open lens and a fast lens, you can actually shoot it at a faster shutter speed, even at ISO 200. Once we start getting into the darker environments, this is again, what is it? 1.4 again, five hundredths of a second here. But I think I've actually pulled up the shadows here in Lightroom. 
we have a look at uh, what I've done here. Uh, did I do a graduation? I don't think so. Anyway, that's the photo. Uh, again, loads of detail. Um, what am I doing here? I'm doing f2.8, getting Leah in focus here and shooting through a bunch of LED pendant light type things, restaurant area. Just seeing how that handles. What do I do there? Uh, if, oh, okay, we went to F13, uh, 145th of a second, shooting at 640 ISO. So that's the difference between those two photographs. And um, what are we doing here? We're back to f1.4, 30th of a second. Uh, shutter, uh, shutter speed and ISO 400. Again, incredible detail. Um, you do notice some um, color chromatic aberration in some highlights, uh, some lights around there uh, that are in the background. But otherwise we've got incredible not so much here in the foreground, it's interesting. But uh, so much detail and contrast fantastic and then um, further on around Darling Harbour here handling the different lighting conditions with this blue light that you see yes it's uh, a lot of fun photographing late uh, in the evening or I suppose <laughs> early evening I should say late afternoon early evening and um, just seeing the colors we can get. So shooting f1.4, 30th of a second at ISO 500. And um, incredible, again, with the lighting and the contrast and the detail. Yeah, so this combination of uh, this lens is uh, fantastic. I love using this 35mm lens, f1.4. And I think that probably wraps it up. Right, now that we've seen those photographs, I hope you've enjoyed those. Um, I'll include uh, the same slides, or uh, well, same slides, the same photographs that you've just seen in colour earlier, um, at the end, but in black and white. Uh, it's always interesting seeing the same photograph in black and white, or even seeing black and white in the first instance, because you create sort of it just stimulates the imagination of what it could have been like and maybe puts another story to the photograph. Um, do you find that also? Do you do black and white photography? I'd love to know. Um, maybe comment on this video and, and share it. The next outing will be taking the Nikon D850 out with the 35mm 1.4 AIS manual lens. So again we'll be trying to take take full advantage of this lens and the peculiarities of this combination. So um, tune in for the next video. Um, do subscribe, press notifications as far as bell is concerned um, so you get notified when this next video is out. And uh, like, subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.